Hello Pisces and welcome to your May 2024 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that came out was the page of pentacle, but it came out with the five of cups and the nine of wands. So here it's all about you know what we're planting maybe a new project or maybe just um something that was offered at the or that you're offering it's a seed it's in your hands it's at the beginning of its process uh so we'll understand more what why these two are kind of behind it uh old sadness and uh kind of a you know, when we're protecting ourselves there, nine of ones. Um, after, I have the page of sword in reverse. So there's something to understand here. But maybe during the month, it's going to take a little time for you to understand what is the lesson of this, what is behind that pentacle. And then at the end of the month, I have the fool. The fool is in reverse, so that means we're going to be more like, I hope, than a real jump. But there's something significant. This is to unblock something that uh, you're arriving in the month with, okay? So if you're flying high and everything is fine, maybe this is not your reading. But if there's like something, especially when it comes to the pentacle, because here, page of pentacle... Under that we have the king of pentacle and under that we have the queen of pentacle. Pentacle, pentacle, pentacle. You're arriving in the month of Taurus with uh, the principle of value, worth, um, support. Because here it's with the high priestess. So your soul is talking to you about what it means to invest, what it means to protect, what it means to make somebody feel secure, feeling yourself secure, um, uh, that you won't be abandoned, that you won't abandon anybody. Um, it's all about uh, that. She's talking about commitment, engagements. This is all King of Pentacle. And the Queen of Pentacle, well, that's your inner root chakra perceptiveness of this world and, and your sense of belonging and all of that. That is affected by old emotional scarrings. And that's probably what is there. So fears, you know, like projections of loss and sadnesses and projections of possible I have to protect myself because I've been attacked, I'm still wounded, I don't trust, I expect to be attacked, uh, to be hurt. And so this is what is all in the projections here, okay? So it's almost like the high priestess is trying to, your soul is trying to make you understand uh, what, pentacles are okay worth value and and your king of pentacle okay you're the king of pentacle whether you're a woman or a man does not make any difference you have both universe within yourself you have two unless you have only one side of a brain if you have two sides of if your brain is complete you both have the feminine and the masculine so anyway what is it that it's supposed to understand? Here, we have the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So here, you might have been wounded, okay? Uh, it could be a recent wound, an old wound that just took another shape, that just reappeared again. But here, you're lacking the information to actually be able to heal it. You might recluse. You know, I'm going to recluse because I don't want to be rejected or abandoned so I'm gonna recluse myself but there's something that you need to understand about that 
it's with the eight of cups but uh, we're gonna clarify because reclusing leaving emotional investments behind and not having understood what happened uh, we don't want to repeat it okay so the fool in reverse because he's not at zero maybe he's leaving but the still holding to a lie within himself so but under the fool we have the ace of pentacle and that is good because that's the possibility to make a six out of this and we have the devil in reverse so that could be karmic that could be um you know unconsciously uh, that could be talking about uh, your opportunity to bring things face your shadow face your demons um, because the devil can be uh, a door to enlightenment in the sense that if i can bring my light into in light into my shadow and not fall for what enslaves me or um, you know shackles me uh, here so that i can rise my consciousness higher than the animalistic side uh, that's an opportunity okay but uh, if not if he acts from behind and makes you believe um you know that you're abandoned and you know you're losing and all of this um then you're just repeating the pattern so let's clarify that means that for you pisces if this was something that has always um kind of accompanied you from behind this month is the perfect opportunity to kind of look at it really and allow the understanding of it to be readjusted okay and your worth and value and how you deal with it all right i call upon the divine i call upon the light i call upon the holy spirit help me clarify this reading for pisces for the month of may 2024 Okay, let's look at the, the page of pentacle with the five of cups and the nine of one spirit. What does that mean? Ooh, all right. Ten of pentacle in reverse. So you're at the end of a cycle of pentacle. So that means that your relationship with pentacle, your... Um, understanding of it how you manage it how you absorb it hold it spread it uh, your physical experience here uh, needs to be renewed that's the pentacle at the end here uh, to start the next cycle this one is in reverse so you're feeling your world crumbling here uh, we have the seven of wands in reverse there. So that can be an unconscious resistance or just um, because with the five of cups and the nine of wands, it's almost like a giving up of resistance, of, you know, arguing or whatever. There's kind of a... Let's look at the King of Pentacles and the High Priestess. What is the High Priestess trying to talk about? 
She's trying to talk about the Five of Cups, the sadness. And she's trying to tell you there's a new way to bring your energy or to act or to make decisions or a new aim uh, out there for you. And, and stop waiting or reassessing, but to act because that's your emperor. So that's how you're sovereign over your life, over your empire, over, um, you know, everything around you. The way you make decisions and things like that. The emperor upright will always bring things to the heart center, to the unconditional. Uh, so he would be in the six of cups. Two of cups, six of cups. But here we're in the five. And here that means that uh, if these are what you're holding on to, then your mirrors and yourself, consciously or unconsciously, will have a hard time bringing things into the heart chakra. Let's look at your... Um, Queen of Pentacles. You know, having to deal with that. Uh, everything is a mirror. So the Queen of Pentacles is stuck with the Seven of Cups. We know it. Uh, there she is. Seven of Cups. It creates projections. And everything we experiment, we experiment it through this. Because this is what we project. So uh, we might not read things the right way. And here I have the chariot and the nine of pentacles in reverse. So the chariot is really with the high priestess here. It's asking to, okay, things are going to unfold in a certain way. There's going to be a momentum here. Make sure that the way that you are anchored here is not a mess of fog. Because where is your chariot going to go? You know, if it's not grounded properly. Let's look at the page of sword in reverse. Ah, he's still there. There's something that you have a hard time... Uh, letting die, letting transform. It's emotional. This is Scorpio. And this, this is really the leftovers of a... Uh, this is a Saturn lesson, okay? But it's kind of... It's like if you're not conscious about it. But what the side effects that it does on you is a feeling of uh, being betrayed, of... Uh, being powerless in front of, of a situation, not being acknowledged, not being recognized. But these are all consequences of um, the, the uh, understanding that you have to have about worth and value for yourself. Let's see the four of swords and the five of pentacles. All right, we have the Four of Swords healing the Five of Pentacles. We have the Sun, so that means a lot of clarity. And the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, though, because we're, we're healing here. But during the month, you're going to have some type of clarity. And... Uh, Eight of Cups, I have the Eight of Cups. So, upright and in reverse. There's probably going to be a decision to be making, but this is, and here I have the, the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. You're looking at this. You're, this is going to be all brewing this month. Parts of you maybe will want to just leave all of that and that's it too bad I'm, I'm i'm leaving and other parts of you will not be ready to uh, let go of all of this uh will want to process it maybe understand it 
Why is the fool? Why is the fool there? But for sure, there are things that uh, need to be understood and processed so that these old waters do not come and affect you like this so that you can be in the six of cup the fool all right the fool's going to be cautious he won't take um too many risks and i have the king of pentacle here um maybe he's gonna kind of just hope that things are gonna be okay ace of pentacle ah. all right we have the judgment and we have the six of cup and here is the five of cup but leaving uh, five of pentacles sorry leaving the judgment on that pentacle the judgment on that five of pentacle we needed to come to the six where you're not feeling robbed abandoned not enough and all of these things so that you can be in the six of cup and the devil here in reverse what does that mean spirit are you going to get rid of an old karmic lesson here all right, here's our nine of wands, but in reverse, here is a page of cup, and that's interesting as a bottom of a deck. Three of cups, deciding to be on the receptive side, and it is going to be a decision. Uh, a decision maybe to, uh, you know, leave your... I'm isolating myself, trying to heal and, and all of that. And when you look at the two bottoms of the deck, here we have page in reverse, page upright. And it's like if watch your, if, if you project this month, because it's right there. And this is all based on old wounds of abandonment. And not to project them. Because then you wouldn't understand what your soul is trying to teach you about your worth and about how to invest it, share it, um, have faith in it. Um, it's an old Saturn lesson. It's an old karmic lesson here. But this month, uh, you come in maybe ah like this, uh, but that's the opportunity to clear that. Um, maybe some of you can watch what you have, uh, where Saturn is in your sign. Um, maybe it's um, it's playing with your waters here and your worth. So, on this, my beautiful Pisces, I am sending you all my love and light. Don't forget, Beltane is an amazing day to put your happiness and, you know, make sure on the 1st of May you're not feeling like this. You don't want this to be coming down with the energies of the goddess that is implanting uh, into the ground that is grounding the energies so that they can come up to be harvests that's going to be on the first of may so if you are feeling like this if this is your frequency um, we don't want that okay we don't want that to be nourished and grown and regardless without any judgment put the judgment uh, on it all right, so on this, I am sending you all my love and light. Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Please subscribe to help grow the channel. If you want a private reading, description below. Um, website, easy, user-friendly. 
And also, thank you for the ones of you who gave donation. I ask the universe, the divine, to give you in the shape that is the most beneficial for you. So on this, thank you, namaste, and see you next month.